हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स तो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिराइव्ड द इक्वेशन दैट इज अ जेट स्ट्राइकिंग अ मूविंग कर्ड वेन टेंजेंशियल एट वन ऑफ द टिप्स एंड लिविंग एट द अदर एंड दैट केस वाज अ अनसिमेट्रिकल केस एंड वी हैव सॉल्व्ड दैट केस बाय कंसिडरिंग द वेलोसिटी ट्राइंगल and we have drawn velocity triangle at inlet and outlet and finally we have calculated the force exerting by the jet on the vein in the direction of jet as well as the work done by the jet considering single vein so in this particular session uh, i'll be taking some numerical problems on velocity triangle Uh, how the problems can be solved by using a velocity triangle uh, let us see uh, i have, let us see let's uh, take a first example uh, a jet of water having a velocity of 20 meter per second strikes a curved vein which is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second the jet makes an angle of 20 degree with the direction of motion of vein at inlet and leaves at an angle of 130 degree to the direction of motion of vein at outlet calculate the first one the vein angles so that the water enters and leaves the vein without any shock then work done per second per unit weight of water work done per second per unit weight of water striking the vein per second so this is the problem given here so we need to solve this problem uh, by drawing the velocity triangle at inlet as well as at outlet so first let us draw the velocity triangle so here the vein this is the vein given curved vein so first you draw the velocity triangle let us uh, consider here the nozzle is been fitted like this here the nozzle is fitted this is the nozzle then from this nozzle the jet is striking the vein like this then this is what this is velocity v1 then when the jet strike the vein the vein starts moving in this direction x direction u the velocity of vein will be the u then that is represented here this is represented u then join this one this is v r 1 and the the absolute this v 1 is absolute velocity which is making an angle of alpha this is called nozzle angle or the guide blade angle then you resolve the v 1 when you get horizontal component then that will be what v w 1 and this will be making an angle of theta and this will be what vf1 that is a flow velocity that is nothing but v1 sin alpha and this will be v1 cos alpha and this up to here this is u1 and this is v r1 cos theta okay this we know how to construct the velocity triangle at inlet similarly in this case what are the data is given here i'll write a given data here i'll write a given data what are the data is given here the absolute velocity that is v1 is given 20 meter per second 
then velocity of vane is given that is u1 at inlet that is a uh, 10 meter per second then angle made by the jet at inlet with the direction of motion of vane that is alpha is given that is 20 degree angle made by the jet with the direction of motion of vane then also the angle made by the living jet with the direction of motion of vane that is also given so angle made by the jet angle made by the living jet living jet with horizontal is given as 130 degree okay means here the jet here the jet will be striking so when the jet strikes see this is the uh, vein this is the vein and vein is moving here after striking then this will be drawn like this uh, this is v1 okay. then this will be this is vr2 this is u2 then this one is v2 and this is a horizontal and this angle is given that is 130 degree so this is u2 this will be v2 okay then this is perpendicular so this let us mark here this one is e g and h this will be f and this component is vw2 as we know and this angle is beta this angle is beta so this is angle 130 degree and then if I draw this one if this also what is this this total angle is 180 180 minus 130 this angle what we get um, 50 degree okay this whole angle but this angle is pi this angle is pi this is theta okay so now we need to calculate the vane angle at inlet and outlet that is theta and pi we need to calculate here so the jet is living by making an angle of 130 degree so this is the living jet the jet is leaving the vane at outlet by making an angle of 130 degree that is angle between uh, that is v2 and horizontal that is given Okay, so remember this one and this will be what Vf2 Vf2 and this one is if you take this one this angle that angle is beta minus pi and this angle is pi this one only this much angle between vr2 and horizontal pi and angle between uh, that is uh, v2 and horizontal this side that is 50 degree because 180 minus 130 is 50 degree so just to construct outlet velocity triangle as well as inlet velocity triangle so once you construct then you can easily calculate here now here i can write beta will be 180 minus 130 is equal to 50 degree so in this problem in this problem here u1 equal to u2 equal to u equal to 10 meter per second 
and also vr1 is equal to vr2 because when that is the played passage has been assuming very very smooth there is no uh, uh, losses at all because it is given in a problem so the so that the water enters and leaves the vein without any shock without any disturbance okay so it is be very very smooth then u1 equal to u2 equal to u equal to 10 meter per second vr1 is equal to vr2 now we have to calculate by by uh, referring this this velocity triangle we have to calculate vein angles at inlet means at what angle the jet is entering into the blade passage that is theta and at what angle it will be leaving so at inlet as well as outlet okay so this is the angle of uh, uh, that is a uh, the jet leaves at an angle of 130 degree leaves at an angle of 130 degree to the direction of motion of vein at outlet means you have to take angle between v2 and 130 degree okay this is so this is angle of deflection actually this is angle of deflection then vein angle so it this one vein angle that is a pi you have to calculate so next so now first part is vein angles vein angles at inlet and outlet okay now angle angle made by angle made by the relative relative velocities relative velocities at inlet and outlet at inlet and outlet that is theta and pi now from figure that is from inlet velocity triangle inlet velocity triangle so triangle bcd if you refer triangle bcd in triangle bcd if you are referring triangle bcd look at this figure so let us mark this point as a a this is b and this one is c and this is d a b c d if refer this triangle triangle b c d this triangle is 90 degree if the triangle is 90 degree we can easily apply the trigonometric function and get the values okay so in triangle b c d so what is tan theta so in triangle b c d what is tan theta opposite by adjacent b d by c d so in triangle b c d tan theta equal to b d by c d but what is b d just to refer again this triangle what is b d so b d is what here v f1 v f1 is anything but what v n v1 sin alpha and c d is what v r1 cos theta so write that one b d is v f1 and c d will be v w1 minus u1 so look at this figure so actually cd is what v r1 cos theta that is nothing but v w1 minus u1 then what is v f1 v f1 but v f1 is what v1 sin alpha and v1 is given and sin alpha is also given so you will get 6.84 meter per second velocity Similarly, what is V W one? V W one is sine V one cos alpha. Then you will get twenty cos of twenty. You will get eighteen point seven nine meter per second. And also U one equal to what? Ten meter per second. That is given. Then next 
tan theta equal to substitute in the above here substitute you will get 6.84 divided by 18.79 minus 10 you will get 0.778 then from this what is theta calculate your theta so theta will be 37.875 degree this is inlet vein angle also also from once again from inlet velocity triangle that is refer triangle bcd what is sin theta refer sin theta that is vf1 sin theta opposite by hypotenuse vf1 divided by vr1 opposite by hypotenuse it is bd by cb bd by cb then that is vf1 divided by vr1 so we need to calculate vr2 with then vr1 is what vr1 will be vf1 divided by sin theta vf1 already calculated 6.84 sin of 37.875 then you will be getting 11.14 meter per second therefore vr1 is equal to vr2 is equal to 11.14 meter per second then again refer that is triangle can refer this triangle here refer triangle so again from triangle EFG so we refer outlet velocity triangle E E F G this triangle EFG since it is uh, not a right angle triangle so you have to apply here either a, a sine rule or a cosine rule here so applying applying sign rule so you know the sign rule if suppose this is a triangle if the sides are say a b c and it is this angle is a small c this is a, a and this is small b then what is what the sign rule says the a divided by sin a is equal to b divided by sin b is equal to c divided by sin c this is the sine rule so for this triangle e f g you apply the sine rule so when you apply the sine rule v r 2 this one v r 2 because we know this angle okay this opposite angle we know because this is 50 degree so to apply the sine rule you should know the uh, inner angles okay Okay, v r2 divided by sine of 180 minus beta this one this angle is sine of 180 minus beta is equal to u2 equal to because we do the two sides u2 equal to sine of this angle beta minus pi okay so when we know the two sides and also the angle the other can be calculated easily so here substitute 11.14 divided by sine of 180 minus 50 because we know the value of beta and also we know the value of u2 then sine of beta also we know but unknown is what pi then calculate this one this one simplify so 14.542 is equal to 10 divided by sine of 50 minus pi then sine of 50 minus pi is equal to what 
पॉइंट सिक्स एट सेवन सिक्स सिक्स एट सेवन सिक्स देन यू विल बी गेटिंग फिफ्टी माइनस पाई यू विल बी गेटिंग साइन इनवर्स ऑफ पॉइंट सिक्स एट सेवन सिक्स देन फिफ्टी माइनस पाई यू विल गेट फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर फोर देन फाइव यू विल गेट सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स डिग्री सो दीज आर द इनलेट एंड आउटलेट सो इनलेट एंगल सो यू गॉट सो इनलेट एंगल थर्टी सेवन यू केयर सो दिस इज द इनलेट वेन एंगल एंड दिस इज द आउटलेट वेन एंगल ओके सो फाइनली यू गेट द आउटलेट वेन एंगल सो हियर वे अप्लाइड द साइन रूल सिंस वी नो द टू साइड्स एंड ऑल्सो इनर एंगल्स यू नो हाउ टू अप्लाई द साइन रूल एंड ऑल यू लर्न द मेकेनिक्स सो अप्लाई द साइन रूल हियर then second part is what here you to calculate work done per second but per unit weight unit weight you to calculate per unit weight so we know fx formula fx formula is what rho a v r1 v w1 plus r minus v w2 this is the formula we are knowing but since beta is less than 90 degree here so beta is less than 90 degree the formula you have to use rho a v r1 v w1 plus v w2 this is the formula and work done per second work done per second the formula is fx into velocity that is velocity of plate then we know fx is रो ए वी आर वन इंटू वी डब्ल्यू वन प्लस वी डब्ल्यू टू इंटू यू एंड दिस विल बी फोर्स दट इज वर्क डन पर सेकेंड बट वी वॉन्ट वर्क डन पर सेकेंड पर यूनिट वेट सो पर यूनिट वेट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट पर यूनिट वेट that is work done per second per unit weight so that is uh, rho a v r1 v w1 plus v w2 divided by weight per second per unit weight per second this is your divided by per unit weight but we know the formula weight equal to what m into g but we want weight per second then we get weight per second that is mass per second also you have to take here into g but mass per second is we know v rho a v r1 into g this is mass per second mass flow rate rho a v r1 into g so this gives you weight per second then divide it here rho a v r1 v w1 plus v w2 divided by rho a v r1 into g this get cancels once we get 1 by g v w1 plus v w2 so this gives you weight work done per second per unit weight of fluid striking the vein per unit weight of fluid striking the vein let us understand here weight equal to m into g but weight per second we want weight per second and think but again you have to divide it by time then mass per second is what rho a v r1 that is mass flow rate into g then here this get cancels finally you get this equation then where v w1 is uh 18.794 meter per second then v w2 from figure so if you refer the figure v w2 refer this figure so v w2 you will be getting uh, gh means gh minus gf gh v w2 gh minus gf okay so i'll write here gh minus g f then what we get here vr2 cos pi 
minus u2 so look at this figure so this one this, this is total vr2 cos pi this total so vr2 cos pi minus u2 is vw2 okay. then substitute the values here we are to already we know 11.14 into cos of 6.56 minus 10 you will get 1.067 meter per second also u1 equal to u2 equal to 10 meter per second then work done per second calculate work done per second per unit weight of fluid striking 1 divided by 9.81 18.794 plus 1.067 into 10 the answer you get 20.24 newton meter okay, newton meter per newton newton meter per newton okay per newton means per unit weight of fluid striking so this is the answer okay so here in this type of problems the very important thing is drawing of velocity triangles so once you draw this velocity triangle then it is very easy to calculate the things components Okay, this is the inlet velocity triangle and this is the outlet velocity triangle. Try to understand how to construct a velocity triangle at inlet as well as outlet. This is a standard form. So you have to construct like this. Then you have to apply the trigonometric function, sine rule, cosine rule. Trigonometric function can be applied if the angle is a triangle is a 90 degree triangle. You can easily apply. Then if you want to apply the um, what you call a sine rule or a cosine rule. So you know uh, by using a trigonometry. Now the two unknowns uh, can be easily determined from the data listed on the triangle if the triangle does not uh, contain a 90 degree angle then the law of sine or cosine uh, rules may be used for the solution okay so i hope you understood this one please practice this type of a problem so again very important is how the jet is leaving means at what angle the beta is uh, that is uh, at what angle at outlet uh, the jet is living so that is very very important you have to find out the beta based on the beta we have discussed in derivation the if the beta is 90 degree if the beta is uh, uh, less than 90 degree if the beta is more than 90 degree how the force can be calculated okay i think you understood this one similarly practice other type of problems also okay thank you